Hey guys, so today is the 6th, and um, it's Sunday, so it's still icky outside, so we didn't do anything, I just got out of the shower, so, um, yeah, today went really well, last night I'm a little ashamed to say that after I vlogged that I didn't eat anything unhealthy, I ended up having a bowl of cereal, and so I danced, <laughs> I did like a Zumba type workout to, um, like, get rid of what I just done. I I feel terrible about it. I, I'm guilty to myself because I've been working so hard that I just, I feel like I just threw it all away because I had a bowl of cereal yesterday. It wasn't even a big bowl of cereal. I just, I don't know, I just really, really wanted one. And then when I was done eating it, I was like, why? Why did I just do that? So... Anyways, I still think I'm doing pretty well. Um, I Today, I for breakfast, I had uh, an omelet, a three-egg omelet with uh, chicken and mushrooms and cheese. And then um, for lunch, I had um, grapes and nectarines and a uh, thing of string cheese. And then for dinner, I had um, taco salad. So it's, it was just... The taco meat, not hamburger, but like this small chunked up steak that they give you for taco meat uh, with taco seasoning. And then it was baby spinach, lettuce, and um, cucumbers and tomatoes and carrots in it. So that's what I had for dinner, and it was so good. I did find this keto app. I love it. Um, I'm going to try some of the recipes in it. I'm also, um, because I'm on Twitter, I tweeted that um, I am very proud of myself because I realized today that today is the 6th of January and in six days I haven't had a single soda or um, any chips, I've had no bread, I have literally been sticking to fruits and vegetables and meat. And I'm actually incredibly proud of myself for that. I've had just the barest amount of carbs, so I am so proud of that. So yeah, I think I'm still doing well. I did work out today, so my arms are killing me because I focused on my arms today. Usually I focus on like my stomach because that's the part that I hate about myself the most. Um, but I usually I focus on my stomach and my legs, but today I, I did my arms. So... Yeah, um, we're all just watching America's Funny Some videos, and um, we're going to go to bed here in a little bit. So yeah, that was today, Sunday. I hope I can keep it tomorrow. My birthday's on Wednesday, and I know I'm going to want a piece of cake on my birthday, which it's unavoidable because it is my birthday, but I think I should get one pass for a piece of cake on my birthday, but... Either Monday or Tuesday, I want to go to the doctor and, and get weighed to see if I had lost any weight to see, you know, how I'm doing. Because I feel better. I feel stronger. I don't feel so tired and run down. I don't know if it's because every day, I don't know if it's because every day that we've been cleaning and like the house has been clean and nobody's been fighting. But I don't know. I just, I feel really good today. I feel accomplished and proud of myself. So here's to, to tomorrow tomorrow can bring. Hey guys, so um today is the seventh and um it's only noon but I wanted to come on here and um talk a little bit about kind of how I'm feeling. Um I'm in my room so it'll be a little bit easier to talk about stuff like that um so last night I couldn't fall asleep um I just kept thinking about like all of the what ifs what if I'm not approved for surgery what if um I I don't lose all the weight that I'm supposed to lose before surgery what if um I don't know, just all of the what ifs. I know that it's going to be really hard after surgery to, um, uh, on my body and on my mind. And, um, I know that I know that I have people helping me and they're there for me. 
I'm just a little nervous about all of the what ifs, you know, <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, just one of those days. So then this morning I got up and I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just, I guess I'm just a little nervous. If I'm going to fail, I guess. Um, so I have actually done great today. Um, my sister had a bowl of cereal right next to me and, um, for, oh, my cat scared me. <laughs> um, my sister had a bowl of cereal right next to me while I was eating breakfast. And as tempting as it was, I, I know that I can't have cereal if I'm going to stick with it. I haven't had any kind of crackers or, um, bread or potatoes or anything like that. I haven't even had rice. It's literally been meat and vegetables. So, and cheese <laughs> and well, fruit, but, um, so I know that I'm, I'm sticking with it and I'm really excited. I'm just nervous because I, I tried really hard before and, um, I gained weight. So I'm nervous. I'm nervous and nervous about trying really hard and not, and not losing any weight. So, um, I'm going to do laundry later and then I'm going to go to the doctor and just have them weigh me to see how I'm doing before my birthday so that I know that I'm on the right track. I want to be, the last time I weighed myself, I was 503 and I want to be under 500. Um, that's my goal because I've been at it for a week now. Um, the last time I was weighed on was on the 18th of December at my last doctor's appointment. Um, and I was 503 and ever since then, um, because of Christmas and stuff like that, I was just not even, not even trying to lose weight because I knew that it was going to be darn near impossible to stay away from the mashed potatoes and stuff like that for Christmas. However, I think I did a really good job. Um, even at Christmas, I didn't eat nearly as much as I did last Christmas. And so I'm kind of actually still proud of myself for that. I didn't gorge or anything knowing that I was going to, um, have to lose weight on the first. I set myself with the first because I knew that losing 40 pounds in three months for me, for my body would not be too difficult. So, um, I set it to the first because that's when all of the, you know, New Year's resolutions start. And, um, honestly, it's easier to get a gym membership when it's the first. So, because they're all like, you know, New Year, New Year body and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do it from the first, my last class for, um, the four surgeries on the 8th of March. So I have three months, basically, uh, to lose the 40 pounds before it's considered um, too late. So I, I'm really looking forward to um, knowing where I am and knowing where I stand. So, yeah, um, this morning for breakfast I had uh, an egg scramble with like pork and mushrooms and cheese. And that's all I've had to eat today. I'm still pretty full from it. Um, that was weird. It just froze for a second. But I'm still pretty full from breakfast. So I'm going to work out a little bit. Um, it's really, really crummy outside. Um, it's rainy and cold. and I think I'm still going to try to go for a walk with the kiddos maybe before it's their nap time. But yeah. That's pretty much where I am. Um, I'm going to clean and um, do laundry, and then I'm going to go for a walk with the kiddos. And I think that's what my workout is going to be today. I'm just not feeling 100%. I'm just, it could be the weather. Maybe it's the weather. I just, I don't know. I'm just nervous. And I wanted to give an update because that's how I'm feeling. So, yeah. Hey guys, so, um, today is the 8th and, um, I decided I was going to 
bite the bullet basically and get weighed today. So I, the last time I had a doctor's appointment what, and I got weighed, um, I was 503 and, um, it was on the 18th of December. And then I was like, I'm not going to, that was a very large squirrel. Um, I'm not going to, um, care. Christmas is here and New Year's is here. And, um, yeah, so I was like, I'm just not even gonna, I'm not gonna stick to any kind of diet plan. I'm just gonna continue as I am, but I'll be more, um, conscious of what I eat. I just won't eat like a diet plan. So that's what I did. And I had, you know, mashed potatoes on Christmas and, you know, sandwiches and noodles, you know, whatever I wanted to eat. I just didn't have a whole bunch of it. So then, um, January 1st, I was like, yep. So I'm starting my diet on the first. So that's what I did. And now today is the eighth, the day before my birthday. And I, I weighed myself at the clinic here and I'm 497.2. That's amazing. I lost six pounds in eight days. I feel how, how amazing is that? So I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I love this clinic that I go to because, um, anytime you want to get weighed, you just have to walk in and they'll take you right back. And then as you're getting weighed, they ask you, you want them to document your weight for you in your folder. You know, I lost this much weight. I, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, no, it's okay. I just want, you know, I don't want to make any more work for them. So I was like, it's okay. I just want to know how much weight I lost and I lost six pounds and I'm so excited. I know it's still... It's not a whole lot, but it's something. And I was worried that I had gained. And since I lost six pounds, I'm so excited. So, yeah, I love this clinic because when you walk in, they call you by name. And um, I'm not going to I'm not going to name names, but I walk in and the receptionist there was like, Anna, oh, my God, how are you? Happy birthday. And I was like, hey, girl, I'm good. How are you? You know, because um, the nutritionist here at the clinic that I went through actually went through the weight loss uh, surgery and the whole procedure. And she's doing amazing. And so I was asking her how she was doing. And, oh, it was lovely. So, yeah. Hey, guys. So <clears throat> it's about 830 at night. And I just had dinner about a half an hour ago. I ended up going to the store. Um, I had a I had a pretty good day today, actually. Um, I lost six pounds, and um, so then after that, I went with my mom and we did laundry. And then um, while we were doing laundry, I realized that it was almost one o'clock, and I forgot to eat lunch. Like all I had had today was uh, protein powder shake and it's only eight ounces well six so um what i did was um i ordered an omelet from a restaurant so that we could eat it while we were doing laundry and um i had a, it was actually a pretty healthy omelet and a ham with uh, bell peppers and onions and um so mushrooms and um but I did have, I did have hash browns and I had um, a toast with it. So I was pretty full for a really long time. And then it got time for dinner and I was like, you know, I'm not really hungry. I'm still kind of full from lunch. And it was like, I ended up going to the store at about five. And that's usually when I start making dinner. But I really needed to go to the store because it's raining really badly outside. And, and it's only supposed to get worse tomorrow on my birthday. So I was like, I need to go now or it's just going to get worse. So I ended up going to the store and I got some really good stuff. I got an avocado. I'm going to finally try one for the first time ever. 
and um, I got uh, celery and um, some more protein bars to have that for lunch instead of, you know, having something for lunch. I could stick it in my purse. And <laughs> yeah, so I got some really, really good stuff. I didn't get any kind of crap that I'm used to getting. Um, and then I was supposed to stop by and just get pizza for the kiddos because it's easy just to stop at Little Caesars and get it so that they can have something, but I forgot because it's raining. So we had hamburger with grapes and um, I had applesauce. So yeah, it ended up being a pretty good dinner anyways. I got some um, whole wheat uh, hamburger buns and some whole wheat bread, which I didn't realize a whole bunch. I didn't realize that um, whole wheat bread had protein in it. So, I mean, well, there you go. I also ended up getting some bran and some, um, like, bran pebbles to go with my yogurt because my mom said that she's eating so much protein, it's kind of um, taking its effect on her. So I'm like, ooh, I need to pick up some, <laughs> some fiber. <laughs> so that's what I did too, and I made sure a lot of my food had fiber in it, and I'm, I'm really, really proud of today. I'm proud of myself. And then tomorrow is off the table. Um, we're going to a Chinese buffet for my birthday dinner because my cousin Carla wanted to go there, and um, she'd never been. It's really good. And so we're going to do that, and then my sister wants to make me a cake. So I'm going to... Um, I know that I'm going to break my diet because it's my birthday tomorrow and I can cry if I want to. <laughs>